How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Main Brew Guy. So today, I got some nice packages that I'm going to share with you guys. Um, one of them's the Blitzman Beer Gun, and then the other, I think, if I remember when I ordered it, it's just a, um, a CO2 disperser for the Keezer, some tubing, and maybe some beer cleaner. I'm not like super sure. I can't really remember what I bought. But, yeah, let's get into cracking these open. Alright. Okay, so I did get some beer cleaner. Beer cleaner, beer line cleaner. Beer line cleaner. got the CO2. I got four of them, um, which is pretty nice. I'm pretty excited to finally have, have something like this. And then I got some more CO2 lines to go to my kegs. And there we go. All right, so let's get a nice shot of all the stuff. All right, everybody, <clears throat> let's open up. Uh, Open this bad boy up. Smells new. So you've got the beer line. Replacement O-rings. Nice little cleaner. Like that. Got the gun itself. So you've got the hose. Hmm. Well, I think we might give this a shot and see how it goes. Because I really want to use it. All right, everybody. <clears throat> so I think I have figured out how to use the Blickman gun. Um, this just keeps tangling up, but I've already got a few filled, uh, but I'm gonna show you guys right now. So I have sanitizer in here, 
Shake it around a bit. I put the beer gun after I fill in sanitizer. So, this top button right here purges out the CO2. Do it for a few seconds and then fill. Pull the gun, pull the trigger. I mean, it's working really well, actually. So I'm going to be traveling down to Virginia. Um, and I guess we'll see how the carbonation level is once I get down there. Um, and we'll go from there. I'm going to take, I think, two or three bottles down. Top all set. Boom. Dunk. Clean it off. Yeah. So hopefully the carbonation level stays. That's what I'm hoping for. Fire shale. CO2, purge it, and fill. So I'm doing five uh, of these flip top bottles. Because um, after I fill them, I'm going to add some flavoring to the keg. I need to get a better setup for my regulator though. I didn't realize that it's uh it's not gonna work the way I wanted it to. Dunk in. Oh yeah, this is this is pretty friggin' sweet. I like it. Dunk. It's a nice easy process. Way better than uh doing the bottles the old fashioned way. Alright, I got one more of the Irish ale. Shake, dump, dump the top, purge, and fill. Yeah, if you guys, I'm actually, <clears throat> I'll do a update video. Um, just to kind of fill you guys in on how the beer stayed carbonated and stuff, but ease of use right out of the box, super, super easy. Uh, the only thing I recommend, you're gonna need a regulator for your keg, um, or you're gonna need a uh, ma like a regular manifold so that you can have more things than one on CO2 at once, because you're gonna need your actual beer to be on CO2, along with the beer gun. There. Wow. That is pretty friggin' slick. Let's uh switch this beast over to a different beer. One second. Alright everybody. So I'm loving this manifold thing right here. While I'm doing this, I just poured myself a uh a nice stout and beautifully carbonated. Oh, wow, this is friggin', this is nice. Home brewing. Here we go. We are going to be bottling now the California Ale Yeast one. Three seconds, fill. 